Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman. And welcome back to a, a final project run through. And, and you know what happens with a lot of these? I love cedar houses. And so we did some work here for Mr. Gill. And you know, there's a few things to point out. He's done a really good job of trying to stay up on his, his stain on this house. And so the woodpeckers were starting to get into here. The boys were just left here a little bit ago. We came back for a second day. We had some issues around his garage doors. And so we need to touch those paints up, up there. Um, but like every job that we come to, we don't nickel and dime customers. We're an affordable contractor. We work with everybody's situations. And it's funny because some customers like Mr. Gill loves us. The customer that we're just finishing up, uh, up the street in Kennesaw, they love us. But every once in a while, you'll see we get people that are just nuts. And there's a review online for us that is the worst review this company's had in 25 years. And you know, my Christian heart goes out to that woman. I'm not even gonna sue her even though I should, but there's, there's nothing to win there. So we're just gonna pray for her and hope that she gets turned around. But we treat all of our customers the same. Some we go the extra mile for, and that lady that wrote the, the negative review, we went the extra mile for, did a bunch of stuff for free. Every single job, including this one, we did some repairs here for free that we didn't charge for because it's about a relationship. If it, you know, Most contractors are nickel and diming you and the relationship sours, we don't do that. And we'll tell you why. This house is gonna need to be restained. Mr. Gill's gonna be thinking about it. He knows we do hand work. We're more expensive than the guys that come out here and spray it. That's what he's had before, and that's why you can see the siding up through here needs to be redone. You can see our one coat of new stain right here. See how much fresher and newer it is? You can see that it's the siding. We replaced about seven rows of siding right there. We did a bunch of miscellaneous repairs around the front of the house. And there's a few other things that you'll see. When you get these new windows, don't let your window company come in here and install aluminum casings around your trim. They do it, they charge you as an upcharge, it's gonna look beautiful. It does look nice, but the real problem is that the wood underneath there now is rotting. And we'll show you, you know, now we spent more time on the house, we find other things. When we're running these estimates, we're out, we're at the house for 15, 20 minutes, we can't find everything. See the siding right here? I can put my finger through it, and it's because this aluminum casing, as pretty as it looks, and you see that? It's never been caulked. And it's the same thing on the window next to it. The last time the painters came, they just filled that void full of caulk and said, have a nice day. So he's got a few pieces of siding in here that'll need to be replaced. Wherever our guys replace siding, um, you can see we actually replace these corner boards. Here on the cedar on the front of the house where it's close to an entry, we'll go ahead and replace the whole piece. And the edge has been caulked and the back sides have been sealed with primer. So it won't rot again. Cedar is by far your best natural siding. It's not gonna rot and decay. It's just wonderful stuff. Most contractors would come out here like Mr. Gill found, and they're gonna tell you you're gonna replace everything. So we had some issues here. If you go back to the original video on this property, you'll see there was a little bit of rot over this header right here. And, and this is where we get into trouble with, with customers. They don't understand it, they don't see it. So this piece of wood right here, if you go back to the original video, this was on the front. This was on the front of the house, and so, on the front of this right garage door actually. And so it had a little dimple in it if you go back to the original video. Now watch when I turn it around and you see the backside of this thing, look at it. It's totally rotted through. And part of what happened with this door is, this flashing up here was cut short. And so if you go back to the original video, you'll see where we showed you that the flashing was inside of this edge of the trim. Now look where it is. It's a full inch and a half inch and three quarters past the outside edge and it's caulked and sealed and you can see flashing is over the top of the new wood this is pressure treated this was originally cedar when they built this house cedar was dirt cheap so they could throw it away basically now it's really expensive it's most it's your most expensive natural siding uh, but if you use the right materials everything's great and so they used an interior trim piece to trim out the door jams on these garage doors and they all rotted and you can see here the boys have come in with a beveled custom piece of cedar now this will have to sit for about three months to cure up this pressure treated and then we'll stain it to match it. It'll never rot out again and it's done properly. But some of this was an add-on. We didn't know how much of this was rotted. And when you look at it, see how nice this piece looks? Wait till you look at the backside. Look at that thing. Totally dry rotted out. And what happened on this house is because it stayed wet with this flashing short, termites got in there and it stayed wet so they ate all the way around the frames on both of these doors. And you see what a nice job the fellows did. In doing this but this was real cedar look at it look at the condition of that board that's termite trails through there 
Termites do not like cedar. It takes a lot of moisture for them to even get interested in it. We did a bunch of repairs on the back back here too. I won't run you guys all through it. Uh, we replaced a bunch of corner boards. We worked on the chimney up here. Now we come back and this is what happens. We didn't catch this until today. He's got some rot in this outer band all the way around. That's a three inch thick piece of cedar. We can't even buy that today. So we'll have to make something or we'll come up with something. But overall, he's got a great house. We're happy to help you any way that we can. We've been here for so many years. 98% of our customers love us. Um, it's hard getting the happy people to write reviews. But every once in a while, you get a real sour apple, and, and that's what it is. Here, this customer will be with us to a lifetime. And now that we're starting to grow into other markets, when he moves to out of state someday, we'll be there too. I'm Andy, 770-912-2829. Handy Andy, fix it. XYZ.XYZ. XYZ. See you at the next house. Bye for now.